I'm Phoebe Zhu and I went to Ravenswood School for Girls. The name of the composition that I was selected for to perform at Encore is The Dance of the Backhands. So the piece that I was selected to perform at Encore is actually my own composition, my core composition for music too. I would describe my piece as a very contrasting piece that explores various aspects of the human psyche. My journey of producing a successful composition has been quite a long journey. It started off at the beginning of year 12. And the first challenge I was faced with was coming up with a concept and the thematic foundation of my composition. I struggled quite a lot to think of this and I had initially um, experimented on the piano and created a composition that I didn't particularly like. So I completely scrapped the idea and restarted almost midway through year 12. <laughs> However, after doing some more experimentation and after being inspired by a book I had read, I came up with a new idea for my composition and once I had a story attached to my composition, it made the composition process flow much, um, much more steadily. And going on from there, the challenges I faced were less significant compared to initially. As a classical musician and playing the oboe, I've been influenced often by the orchestral and ensemble music composed during Baroque, classical and romantic eras. And the repertoire that I've played on oboe, especially the solo repertoire composed by more modern composers, have influenced my composition and influenced my understanding of music as a whole. So with my composition, Obviously, it's very difficult to plan a rehearsal with an accompanist before the actual composition is finalised. So um, I also play the piano on top of the oboe. So a lot of the time I would practice listening to how the two instruments fit together in my composition. And once I had finished composing my whole piece, um, I got in touch with my accompanist and we had we started rehearsing for, to record it for my HSE. And afterwards, in preparation for Encore, we undertook more rehearsals. The key components of a good rehearsal are first being able to obviously play the notes and pair together the two instruments, so in my case oboe and piano. Secondly would be to ensure a good balance between the oboe and the piano. This will ensure that the sound projection and the melodies come through. And thirdly, I'd say I, I focused a lot on trying to ensure that the performance would um, convey what I intended initially when I was composing the piece. My teacher played a foundational role in the development of my composition. Um, they provided me with lots of advice and feedback and constantly encouraged me to explore new ideas and to experiment on both the oboe and the piano. Phoebe's composition was selected for encore as it was idiomatic, rhythmically energetic and exciting to listen to. She captured the elements of the composition task it was also a piece that demonstrated a very high level of technical skill. We emphasise to our students that it is important to write for instruments that you understand and have access to experiment with. And this is really evident in this situation. When guiding our students to success in the composition component, we often find that students spend a significant amount of time experimenting with various compositional devices in their early stages. We encourage detailed reflection on the composition in relation to the marking criteria and how they have demonstrated compositional skill. I always ask the simple question, does it sound good? And then follow up with, have you played it on your instrument? I always ask students to experiment on their instrument to create a few motives that sound good, are idiomatic and have a sense of energy or direction. The best piece of advice that I was given regarding HSE performance was to constantly look for new ways of playing and to nurture my creativity through thinking outside of the box and experimenting with my playing. Looking back, I wish that I had dedicated more time to setting the foundations of my composition and spending more time doing research, listening to music to ensure that I had a good storyline and a, and a good thematic foundation to my composition before starting because I feel like I wasted half a year working on something that I hadn't liked and then I had to restart. A piece of advice I'd give to the Year 12 starting their HSC performances and compositions would be most importantly enjoy performing and enjoy composing. With music, 
everything comes more naturally when you're passionate about what you're doing and when you listen to lots of music, when you practice music that you enjoy.